fácil de fazer, né? Tá tudo falando muito sobre a Ah, yes, Ah, uh, ok. Sorry. Uh, in a virtual uh, reality environment, achieving real oh, okay. あ、あ、そうそう。あ、あ、スピーカーズ。プレゼンターズ。プレゼンターズ。プレゼンターズ。プレゼンターズ。プレゼンターズ。プレゼンターズ。プレゼンターズ。プレゼンターズ。プレ
uh, for the uh, 3D soft bodies, uh, the stiffness matrix can often be a very large matrix and the computation cost is very high. So um, to address the nonlinear issue, a correlated FBM is proposed. Um, this is a, a figure that uh, that uh, express the uh, uh, correlated FEM process. Uh, it first uh, rotates the deformed um, deformed tetra uh, back to the uh, unrotated coordinate uh, with the uh, inverse of rotation matrix. Then uh, calculate the uh, the displacement with stiffness matrix K and then rotate back to the uh, rotated coordinate with the uh, uh, rotate uh, mat rotation matrix. Uh, now uh, back to the uh, real object, uh, back to the virtual object. Uh, we, as we use finite element uh, method, uh, we need to use many tetras to uh, achieve uh, ac accurate result. Uh, but the matrix scale is defined, the matrix dimension is defined by the number of vertices. Uh, if we use a dense, um, dense mesh, the matrix will be very large. Uh, so we came up with the idea that we, div uh, we divide the model into several groups and uh, calculate the matrices group by group. So we can reduce the calculation scale uh, into, into a group one. Uh, and uh, in order to keep the shape, we, we add some constraints on the shared nodes of the uh, jo joint vertices. Um, the contribution of this research has uh, is first divide the model into groups and uh, accelerate the co-rotated FEM. Uh, then we proposed a position-based constraint for the uh, for the groups, uh, and finally we developed a dynamic equation with co-rotated FEM and uh, uh, PVD constraints, and we solved it iteratively. Uh, now let me introduce some related work. Uh, first, uh, it is a co-rotated FEM. Uh, as co-rotated FEM is proposed, uh, the main uh, bottleneck of the co-rotated FEM is the extraction of the uh, rotation matrix. Uh, then some researchers proposed uh, an APD method to, uh, to accelerate the uh, extract uh, extraction of the uh, rotation matrix called uh, uh, which is called uh, operator splitting and uh, this uh, this achieves very fast result uh, and in our method um, we also use uh, APD to get the uh, the rotation matrix uh, this method often uh, also does not need to very complex mathematic functions um, another uh, way to achieve a robust and fast simulate result is position-based dynamics. Uh, it provides a high level of controllability, control, uh, controllability by directly manipulate the position of the of the vertices, and the constraints can be related to the uh, material properties, uh, and it can uh, simulate some. Um, uh, some uh, physical effects like collision. Uh, uh, then a position-based method uh, has uh, has been developed from uh, continuum mechanics. And uh, uh, using uh, developing from continuum continuum mechanics uh, makes it possible to simulate two uh, D or three D bodies while uh, accounting for the complex physical phenomena. Uh, however, the disadvantage of PBD method is that the stiffness depends on the iteration count and the time step, uh, and the uh, object will become uh, uh, stiffer and stiffer as the iteration number uh, increases. Uh, so it just can achieve some 
uh, visual plausible results. Um, then position based method has been extended to XPBD. Uh, in XPBD, it it solves the problem of the uh, stiffness uh, dependent on time step and uh, iteration count. It adds in a, a, a factor that makes the uh, soft body more com compliant. Uh, so uh, XPBD uh, is more accurate than PBD. Uh, and it can also use some uh, real world material properties. Uh, in our research, we uh, we use the controllability of positions uh, from uh, PVD and XPVD to build our constraints. Um, now let me introduce the implementation. Um, first, we uh, get the original model and divide it into several groups. And uh, if and if we do not add constraints uh, and just uh, add the gra add gravity. The uh the uh, object will just uh, just fall, uh, group uh, group by group, and then we add uh, constraints and uh, rotation uh, to the groups respectively. Uh, and uh, and finally, when the groups are binded together, uh, it will deform uh, uh, by the gravity like the final figure. Uh, the full computation is divided into pre-computation and uh, um, and uh, runtime calculation. In pre-computation, um, we conduct group creation, uh, shared nodes, and uh, create the constant matrices. Uh, and uh, uh, in runtime calculation, we calculate the time variant matrices uh, and uh, uh, calculate the positions uh, of uh, each time step and update the positions and the velocities. And uh, uh, now we get a deformation result like this. Um, I uh, to measure the speed. Uh, I I used the uh, two groups and the three groups for uh, our method and uh, compare it with the uh, uh, unaccelerated correlated FEM and another uh, related method uh, by uh, uh, by position based method which is called the energy constraint PVD uh, and uh, uh, we select a different number of tetras and uh, uh, obtain the results of calculation speed. Uh, we can see, say that uh, we significantly accelerated the correlated FEM uh, and uh, uh, for our simple uh, cantilever beam, uh, three uh, more groups, um, two, uh, three groups are, uh, is- uh, I can read it, it's too small, so can you read it? Oh, sorry. Um, the deep blue one is uh, the correlated FEM. Uh, and uh, uh, the uh, shallow uh, blue is two, uh, two groups, and the uh, red is three groups. And the uh, uh, yellow one is uh, energy constraint, uh, position based. And it's the computation time? Uh, yes, uh, computation time. And show time faster? Uh, yes. Uh, and uh, the uh, x axis is the number of vertices. The vertices is uh, increasing. Okay, increasing. Yes. Okay. Um, and uh, uh, we we can see that we accelerated a uh, correlated FEM by creating groups, but our speed cannot uh, cannot be faster than the uh, energy constraint PVD. Uh, because we still handle uh, the matrix matrix uh, matrices computation, uh, then uh, we measure our uh, computation time uh, of the uh, of just solving the uh, iteration 
uh, because uh, the PVD the PVD method uh, uh, mostly handles the uh, 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 const constraints, uh, and uh, we can we can see that uh, for the uh, once one hundred and forty four uh, tetras, uh, the uh, uh, also the deep blue one is two group, uh, the middle one is three group, and uh, the uh, red one is PVD. Um, and uh, we can see that our method uh, uh, sometimes uh, is faster than a PVD method to solve the uh, function uh, iter uh, iteratively. So um, in, in our method, uh, our uh, iterative method is uh, effective. Um, and uh, for the accuracy, we compare our method uh, with, uh, uh, with energy constraint PVD with uh, a traditional finite element method. Uh, the uh, green one is the uh, energy constraint PVD, and the red one is our our method. We select three uh, different models, and uh, uh, all the uh, three conditions, we get uh, more accurate results than the energy position based method. And the final one is uh, stability. Um, our one of our a uh, limitation is that uh, the stability uh, is related to the related to um, iteration number to some extent, uh, and uh, uh, we can see that uh, for different number of tetras, uh, when increasing the number of iterations, the uh, distance of the shared nodes is is not surely decreased, and uh, uh, I, I, uh, one of the uh, condition is shown. Uh, in for uh, two number of loops, the uh, the the border, the uh, shared nodes are uh, binded together, uh, and uh, we can see that there there are some distance uh, between the shared nodes. Uh, but if we add the number of iterations, uh, the bind force will uh, work well and we cannot see uh, the differences. But if we add the loop to 10, um, it will it will uh, crash and uh, uh, not stable. Um, now uh, this work has some limitations. Uh, is that uh, the constraint force uh, makes the simulation sort of unstable. Uh, so uh, in the future, uh, I will uh, optimize the, the the bind force by uh, use an iterative constant uh, coefficient k to adjust the constraint force uh, and uh, apply uh, a more stable. Uh, more stable simulation uh, method to more complex models. Uh, and that's about my presentation. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> いらっしゃらないでしょうか。そう、なんだっけ。え、とりあえず、え、プレイングアリスモアバーズ、イテレーションアンドスタビリティ。ああ、オッケー。Oh. Uh, so
Uh, okay. Uh, in this, uh, in this uh, situation. Is this mode? Hmm? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, in this situation, we we need to first select a proper uh, bind force coefficient to uh, make the bind force not a. Uh, uh, like a pro pro proper, and it if it is too small, then the this not be uh can can bind it, uh tightly, and it is if it is too large and it will it will crash. Um, uh, why the reason would be the pressure? Uh, I think the bind force is too large, and uh, the why is it too large? Is only because. Of Mm. Uh, I think because the um the bind force coefficient is 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 large, and uh, uh then uh the and then it will amplify the numerical error and uh, uh the and also as it uh and the iterative uh number increases the uh, bind force will. Will will becomes large because it is uh added in in each uh, iteration. Uh, uh, it is accumulating. Uh, yeah, yeah. How, how do you compute the uh, bind Uh, here the bind force is uh, is computed. Fc the bind force. Yes. Delta group one, uh, group for each vertex, Yes. This is the computed. Mm. And delta c one, all all groups. Delta G, Delta X is how do you update Delta X? Uh, by each iteration. Delta X is updated each iteration. Yes. Yes. and 29 is computed one by one. Yes. Uh, iteratively. Mm -hmm. So uh, XC will until 29 uh, uh, and the right side of uh, the sigma comes to zero. If it comes to zero, then FC F I will FC. be stopped, right? Stop to increase. Yes. But uh, currently it's uh, uh, to not to converge, but we uh, uh, Comes to, uh, can, can you show the graph again on uh, the uh, on the slide? Ah, so, 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 kore, kore, what is the uh, y axis of this graph? It's the square norm of the of the distance of the shared vertices. A distance of the shared vertices mm. in each group. Mm. 
Yes. So, uh, from some point, it starts to increase. Mm -hmm. That's strange. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can, can you show the equation again? Why is it occurring? It averages from some iteration. あ、ピカポレ、ホワイトエクエーションウィルコンバージン。うん。ディオコンファームだ、コンバージェントディスエクエーション。ノーハイティだ。ノー、ノーね。あ、オッケー。メビーダッティスタリーブだ。ディスイ
another is あの about the evaluation.、うん、あの How do you compare the previous work and your work? You create、えー、と algorithm. Yes. You create it by yourself. Yes. Ah. I'm afraid that、uh, no, implementation、mm. makes some difference for the physics. How do you implement the building? Uh, for the、uh, quotated FEM,、mm-hmm. I just uh, uh, I, I don't I use the same model, but、uh, no 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 groups, and the、mm-hmm. and the、uh, equation is like the uh, pre uh, the the just uh, at the uh, quotated uh, uh, just use the quotated FEM for the、uh, stiffness matrix、mm-hmm. and the gravity mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. and um, For the uh, uh, energy energy constraint, uh, I uh, I also use the、uh, the the same model.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, would I explain the process? Uh, the, 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 the... Uh, it's, uh, I'm trying to write the no part one is the programming language. Uh, like uh, just in one in in one pro in one solution. Hmm. I.、Uh, I created the the method in 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 one solution. Just、uh, also C C plus plus. Find the program language and the library to use. Oh,、uh, just the、uh, the C plus plus and uh, uh, Agen. C plus plus and Agen. Ah,、mm, yeah. oh, okay, okay. That that is. I think it's better to mention in evaluation. Oh, okay.、Mm, that、uh, makes may makes big difference for the. Mm. And for small matrix, in the case of energy constraint, I think matrix comes to very small.、Mm, yes. In such case, you use eigen.、Mm. Mm. That's okay, but I, I, I think eigen have a fixed size matrix also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you use that? Uh, three, three, three by three. Yes. Uh, not the uh, uh, generic uh, variable size version, but you use the generic size version. I use three. And compare the、uh, computation time. Yes. By using CPU time out. Oh, yeah, yeah, by CPU. Okay.、Mm. Okay, good. You need to mention this.、Mm. Uh, almost this is mentioned. Okay. And also, the iteration, number of iteration makes a difference. Ah, yes. So that also must be explained. Okay, okay.、Oh. How do you make the comparison? <laughs>、oh, I, I, okay, I, I、uh, sorry. I, I implemented with the、uh, same、uh, iteration number, but、uh, PVD method、uh, needs a more iteration, I think. Yeah,、uh, mm. because the element number of elements is larger. Yes.、Uh, but but you don't care about it and just use the same number of iteration. Yes.、Um, mm. Then, then I think it comes it results the、uh, low lower pre- precision.、Mm. And the, so can, can you show the result of the precision? How about the game?、Mm. Which one? Do you, do you measure the precision for the error? Oh, precision. Oh,、uh, error. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. This is. Uh, so energy. Ah,、uh, so the then so you put up a. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If we increase the iteration, I think the error comes too small.、Mm-hmm. Even, you know, in the case of energy constraints PVD,、mm-hmm. uh, that is another way to decide the iteration. Yes, but our、uh, advantage is we don't need many、uh, iterations. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah.、Uh, but, but if the, uh, I know, what I mean. Because energy constraint method does not require much computation for each iteration.、Mm, yes. So even if the energy constraint increases the iteration, then I think the 
、えー、エラーカムスとスモーラー。うん。そうで、あの、for the same level of the error, ah, it's better to compare the computation time also. Oh, okay, okay. I understand. Because, あの、it can be very small. うん。ああ。So it's still small than the energy base. An energy concept DVD will be better than it was. そうで、it's better. ビーム。それはなんてピラーじゃないよな。ピーム。ああ。うん。ハブ。ベタ通称サム。もうなんてリアリスティックアプリケーション。ええ。ええ。ノイズデベロッピングじゃ。ナイオデベロッピング。オッ
of, of these two two types of devices, once worn, they will lose the sensation of the objects in reality and making it difficult to wear them for a long time. And they cannot, they, they also cannot interact with real world objects. Uh, it's, it's hard to interact because of the uh, sensation on the finger was uh, occluded. And uh, so if the, uh, if the actuator occupies the fingertips, so we need to write in some algorithms to design the device, uh, can make them to leave when not needed. Um, so these two are, are, are examples of such solution. Um, the one left, this one can simulate uh, an apple or something. Uh, and uh, if you enter the palm when needed. The device on the right occupying the fingers area and uh, this, this part, we also leave when not needed. Um, however, this kind of response um, is not very fast and it, it is not possible to sim simultaneously uh, touch virtual and real objects. And another approach, this kind of approach could be install the actuator directly on the on this side of the, uh, on the finger nail side. So it doesn't occupy the fingertip. And uh, the research on the right side has found that electrical stimulation on the back of the hand can also provide a sensation on the fingertips. Um, and this this kind of device using the uh, such actuator on the fingernails. However, they are impossible to generate the pressure at the fingertips, um, generate the force, generate uh, such thing. Um, without the force on the fingertips, many sensations cannot be realized. And these are two examples that can create real happy sensation on the fingertips. But the device on the left is too large and uh, too, too large to be installed on each finger. The one on the right uses a water pump to control sensations by, by inflating the fingertips with the water. But you know this method requires a water pump and we cannot uh, take the, the, the water uh, out of there in daily life. So not uh, practical for real world applications. Okay, so here I uh, start to introduce my method. So first we are using the physics engine, uh, Springhead, and it can probe important physical information like contact force, contact speed, uh, friction, and so on. Right now we are using the virtual coupling to build our hands so using virtual coupling can keep the system stable and allows the ca calculated feedback force to be pro pro proportional to the penetration depth. So it's also useful for the uh, haptic uh, rendering. So about the design on the device, we're using the cordless motor as the actuator and the response speed can meet our requirement. Uh, and the weight is around 1.2 grams um, we are using the wire to display force uh, and uh, to display force and vibration of fingertips. And also we are planning to use more motors to provide happiness in different large area. And uh, in, in the next version, we will completely remove the, this part, the ring part. And uh, uh, then we will eliminate the occupation of the fingertips fully and uh, install the device on the fingernail. About the happy rendering, so this, this part is about the friction rendering. We are now using uh, an improved version of the DAO, the DAO model, the DAO model in this, this paper. So the key feature of such rendering, mode, uh, rendering method is it, it, it can allow more, um, more friction signal during low speed sliding. Um, yeah, during the low speed sliding. But uh, no such kind of uh, signal when the high speed sliding. And yeah, now it's low speed and. Uh, yeah, now it's a fast speed. So the signal was not so much. You can see this part. Okay. So it can simulate the sticky sensation of the finger when starting a uh, slip. And about this, this graph, this one is the displacement, displacement of the fingertips. And this one is the displacement of the bristle 
bristle, like a, like a brush brushing the uh the, the plane. And this one is a movement of the this green point. And this one is output uh, friction. And the, the red one, and also the red one in the uh, video. Okay. So this is also the uh, experiment. I, I have tried to using the vibration motor to tip and I can feel uh, sensations. But this this time only one dimension. In the future we will uh, improve improve of the improve the algorithm. Okay, so and next time we will plan to implement a uh, uh, time varying Lubri model. Uh, Lubri model is the uh, improvement of the DAO model, so we can achieve more related happy rendering. The next step. And about the evaluation. So uh, this is the following uh, slides are the eva evaluation part of my paper. So the, this paper, this paper is, and the conclusion is when people grasp and move objects, the grasping force will automatically, uh, automatically adjust to adapt to the change in load force. So if this phenomenon can also be ob observed with our device, it can prove that our device is effective. So about this this graph, we can see the grip force and the the, the acceleration and load force. They are changing uh, at the same time, so they can come up with that solution. And in this paper, so this is a process of grasping an object. So and the right the red part this waveform represents the st stimulation of the FA two receptors. Um, the human brain just judge whether an object is grasped or not by recognizing the peak part, this part, the peak, the peak of the uh, of the signal. And it's important to study how much tangential force can be replaced by vibration. And during the act uh, of the grasping, there is vibration and par partial slip. Um, however, our device only has vibration, so I want to test whether of the right uh, whether of device can simul uh, simulate this part. So, and we need to design experiment to evaluate, e evaluate our, our device. So uh, this is a plan. We need to confirm if the pressure, uh, uh, the force feedback proportional to the penetration depth in motion environment. And the experiment one, I have already finished this one. And this, this one, this part is the method of my evaluation. And here is small motor. Uh, the small motor will lift the this cube and change the value on the uh, on this part so we can see the result is basically a um, linear so this part is the not that clear maybe so um, the the x axis is the current current value in software in software I will control the current and this one is the output of, uh, force so we can see uh, this is a small th this part is the small motor this part is a large motor. I'm using, so we can see uh, they are linear. So then we can conclude that in software, we can control the force uh, by the software. Uh, yeah. And uh, this this section seems not not necessary to be included in the research paper. So, but it, it provides the important information. Uh, this is the relationship between the current control x axis. Uh, value and the uh, actual uh, output current of the motor. So the motor is parallel parallel with different values of inductance. Um, each graph will have a baseline of one thousand one thousand uh, uh, micro Henry, and uh, one thousand micro Henry will provide a ideal uh, straight line. And it has been seen that from the four hundred seventy micro Henry uh, to 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 forty seven Henry micro Henry, so the linear is uh, the linear is gradually weakening. Like this is the blue the, the blue line is not very straight, but uh, it's significantly better than without inductance. Like this one is the zero Henry. Yeah, the you can see the linear was not very good. So, um, so the conclu conclusion is we must uh, need to use the, the inductance. Okay, and uh, experiment two, um, my plan is to have users to perform the packing hole operation. 
so which requires a uh, skill and can be compared with previous research papers. They also use it packing whole, so I want to measure the manipulating time and number of, of jobs. And next, the evaluation is um, we plan to have users to grip objects with the minimum distance uh, between the fingertips. So we will record and compare the finger spacing with uh, and uh, record with or without tactile feedback to confirm uh, to confirm uh, this conclusion. Okay, this is the this is the experiment two and experiment three. And uh, experiment four is testing how much tangential force of our device can replace can be replaced. So first we will use spider because spider can uh, enable the tangential force. So I will turn on tangential force and vibration and uh, versus uh, turn off tangential force and vibration. So uh, if the users still can still feel uh, the uh, can still feel when they are grasping the object, then tangential force may be not uh, must needed. So only vibration can work. Then I will test our device, only vibrations uh, and uh, no vibrations. So then I can evaluate if our device is effective. And also the next experiment, the last experiment I will test whether my device um, does not, does not uh, impede operation. So I will let the users to wear our device to screw some screws and compare it with other kind of other types of devices like gloves or something. Um, and also maybe uh, using the virtual screw is also important. Okay, and there are some we have shown before, like in this video, <clears throat> we can try to manipulate the objects and uh, feel the force on the fingertip. Yeah, I, and I can control the object sliding in my fingertip uh, with a small uh, force. And also we can uh, tr try to control the keyboard and the mouse uh, when varying such device. Okay, and that's all. Thanks for listening. Thank you very much. Nanataka, do you have So could you explain again the previous slide? And this one, this one. This one. You cannot understand figure. So um, okay, I will uh, introduce all of this figure, but maybe not all of them is related to my research. So you can see there are two kinds of wire uh not my turn of the curve. You can see the, the gray one and the red one. So, and also you can see the predicted sensation event. This was very important. Why? Um, we can see there are two tests. Two tests. The T1 is the gray one. The T1, okay, it's a gray one. A uh, gray one. Oh, and uh, the, uh, these are the records of the users grasping the object with 800 grams. 800 grams, and there are four. That the stage like the reach, load, lift, mm -hmm. and hold. Mm -hmm. So you can see uh, uh, the the position of the of the object uh, uh, as this part. This part mm -hmm. it means the object just leave the table. Oh, oh. Yeah, at this moment, then it will give such a uh, stimuli. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, that's it. And the T two is there are an, there is an, another cube. You also think it's 800 gram and it will lift it, but you feel, oh, very light. Mm -hmm. And then the position will exceed, exceed the, 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 the table very so too, too much. Yes. And then, uh, and, and the, the stimulant starts 
before, far before the predicted sensation. Mm -hmm. Then your brain will start the correction, the correction uh, mechanism, mm -hmm. like this part, correction. Mm -hmm. And then you will uh, uh, change the force or something of uh -huh. your finger. Okay. Then you will feel, oh, it's 200 grams. Yeah, that's it. So if we can reproduce this sensation, the FA2, FA2 uh, receptors, so mm -hmm. by just by using the vibration, mm -hmm. so it's important to our research. Yeah. Thank you. Open your mic, Scott. まあ、あの、あの、ディフィカルトゥーティーダービデオ。あの、ま、ま、というオンデクスプレンバイユーズウィズ。ディフィカルトゥーティーダービデオ。あの、ま、ま、というオンデクスプレンバイユーズウィズ
、フランダーモンドーズ。いやいやいや,いや,いや。もうすぐシンプルです。モンデル。Do you think this part is the partial slip? This part? This part is the signal. Ah, they, they also show the partial slip. Mm, this part. Ah, that part is.、Mm. It looks like all the stick slip. Mm. But, uh, but the effect of the part, huh? This one is the b r i s t l e This one is described as they, that bristles. Ah, okay, okay. They, they. Ah, they increase the bristles. 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 Mm. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't know. 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 I'm also wondering why. <laughs>、um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But、uh, you know, it's, it's proportional to Z, usually. Mm. Mm. But this time, no, so、mm. I, I, I can try to cope. You don't, you don't understand the code. Yeah, but I don't know. Maybe the. Z, Z, like, that's the end of F, also, also, then. Maybe my, yeah, my code has some rock. Maybe, maybe. Ah,、uh, maybe.、Mm. Or they are. Thank you. Mm, okay, I will try this part. And also about、uh, experiment four, so do you think it's correct? I, I'm not sure. How much the transition of all the others can be placed? By vibration. By vibration. How much force do you c a l How it's different? Different.、Uh, I don't think、uh, we can replace the tangential force by vibration. We can't, we can't replace it. It's,、uh, there will be some difference. But the difference,、uh, I, I want to know if the difference is critical or not. Mm. Ah, yeah. <laughs> If not very critical, then we can, we can not use any reports.、Mm. Mm. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. えー、他に質問ありますかえー、なさそうなので、優秀さんありがとうございました。えー、それでは、プレゼンテーションこれで終わります。お疲れ様でした。